Fuck like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 2. It's good to be back. I had the unfortunate Rona uh, virus, and it sort of crippled me for a few days, and kind of almost back to 100%. My voice might sound a little bit uh, worse than it normally usually is, so I apologise for that, but I, I now feel that I can focus long enough to... Uh, play video games and record stuff without uh, my mind just going completely blank. So we're going to continue on with the Steam through Freight Edge Hill to Buxton. Try this through Freight service bound for Buxton from Edge Hill to Ditton Junction. Okay. Uh, where am I? Right. It is sunset. It always seems to be sunset. I know the sunset looks nice. But I'd like it to be just pure daylight for one of these scenarios because this is uh, genuinely, genuinely dark. Uh, anyway, we're on a 0.8% gradient, so this could be interesting. Uh, right, let's release the brakes. The brakes are released. We're going to open up our large injector. Get the vacuum going up to 21. Because we're on a hill, we will potentially start to roll back once all the brakes are released. That's just uh, that is gravity in action. We're not rolling back yet, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's at least something. We're pretty much up to 21%. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, I want to open my window. Uh, it's a bit laggy still when I move stuff. I'm actually going to stick sta sander on for this. And I'm just going to edge it. Edge it up ever so slightly. Come on, buddy. Come on. 15%. 18%. 20%. Come on. I know you want to go there, my friend. Uh, why are you not going... Oh, why is that closed? Okay, this could be bad. No wheel slip. No, hates it. Hates it. Uh, so something that will be a lot easier, uh, even though it's, it's kind of annoying, is uh, we'll have to go around and release the vacuum brakes from these locos down here. Now this is time consuming and it's it's kind of frustrating. Uh, I've read on the forums some people have said this is a bug, this is already set to release. Maybe they have fixed this. I didn't see any updates. There's the cable. Give me the cable. Yeah, they're all set to release. Okay, let's try that again then. So, bring the power up. It wants to go. Oh, I've still got the brakes on. Uh, give me that. Open you right up. Maybe it's because we weren't at 21, possibly. Close that. That was really weird. Alright, come on. I know you want to go. I mean, how heavy is this train? Yeah, something is holding us here, which is odd. Brakes are fully released. I go one point three point four. Looks like it's just a case of potentially resetting everything. But we are moving now. Okay, that's good. Right, a couple of chuffs on there. Stopcocks are closed. They probably should have been open, but it's okay. We'll be fine. And we are moving again. Yeah, it's, 
it's like it's really weird. It was uh, firing out excess steam there, as though these were open, even though they were closed here. So that was kind of weird. I don't know how long this is. It says it's almost 0 0.7 miles. Uh, that's about a go via location, though. Uh, because we are on the uphill, I'm not going to sort of run and gun this. I'm going to leave it at about 20 for the regulator. And we are off. Is my window actually open? It is. It's pretty cool. Our fireman is gallantly shoveling away. Here's the rest of our consist. So I don't know where this is actually going to take us. Uh, there's sort of different names for the routes, but they seem to all pretty much go to the same place from point A at one side to point B at the other side, and then sort of vice versa. So I'm not sure how familiar this route is going to be. Uh, there's not many freight routes left to do, and then we'll be on to doing some passenger runs. That'll be kind of nice. I would imagine the passenger runs are a bit more longer because you have to stop at certain stops in between. Uh, it's not a case of express freight or through freight where you just gun it past every station on the line. I'm going to bring this up to 25. I believe I've still got my sander open as well. Let's set the sander to off. That maybe just gave us a little bit of an edge when pulling away up the hill there. Speed limit here is 20. We're not going to reach 20. Yeah, it's a 1.1% incline now. It's quite a challenge moving these heavy consists, just getting them started from a standstill. But we're moving. Alright, once it goes up to 8 miles per hour, which it may never do, I'll bump this up just a touch. There we go. We are in the tunnel, so there ain't much to see here. Probably should close my window. There it is. There's the sort of weird lag. When I interact with things, there's a moment where it just sort of freezes. Which is odd. There we go. Beautiful sunset. Now this is incredibly dark. It is quite dark for me. There we go. We'll look at the loco in the light. Now, ironically, we're on the downhill now, so the train is going to start to try and run away from us. But we should be good. Yeah, there's a huge difference in the lighting when looking at it from this side, where the, the sun is actually shining on it. To the sort of dark... I'm just going to let it coast. We're going to jump back inside as well. So go via location slow line. So yeah, we are heading up here to the left. I am going to increase that to 29 again. Because this, this incline here is, is, is quite something, actually. 2.8%. Man, it sounds really rough today. <laughs> right, there we go. We're up to... Bring it up to about 50%. Just get the consist over this hill here. And then it's downhill. 
Uh, so we're going via location slow line, 600 yards. It's all good. There we go. There is some houses. Where from ever this place actually is. I think is it Northampton or is this Edge Hill? Can't remember. Oh yeah. We're picking up speed now. <laughs> Right, so heading through here. Just let everyone know that we are coming through. Uh, signal aspect ahead is green. Ooh, this station here is is very untidy. Objective complete. Ditton Junction, platform four. Stop at location seven miles. So we are seven miles over in that there direction, over there. Uh, boiler pressure is okay. I'm gonna increase this to, you know what? Just go with a hundred. Get it up to that fifty miles per hour. Again, I don't know if we're gonna be passing the the sort of run corn section. So I'll have to keep an eye on sort of boiler pressure and speed to tackle that extremely large incline at the other side of Runcorn. There we go, looking good. There's the train heads through there. There you go, looking really good. Trying to catch the train in the actual light here. Bridge. And there seems to be quite a lot of shadows happening. We'll find a nice view for this at some point. Uh, we are approaching that 50 mile per hour speed limit. Okay, I am gonna cut that back down. See if I can gain a little bit more boiler pressure. Right, so 6.1 miles to Ditton Junction. And clear tracks ahead. We've covered that one mile, because it was seven miles, uh, quite quickly actually. Boiler pressure is creeping back up, so that's nice. It's nice, this. I would imagine there's going to be a scenario at some point that will be traveling through the the night uh, that's gonna be disconcerting because I would imagine it would be incredibly dark All right this is nice I'm maintaining my 50 51 miles per hour uh, whilst gaining back boiler pressure which is extremely useful because I just don't know when it is I'm gonna need it again Oh, that was weird. <laughs> what was that? There have been a couple of sound glitches in the last couple of videos as well. Uh, a couple of visual glitches that don't sort of happen in game, but it's things that OBS sort of picks up. Which is weird as well. I am about to get my full 225 PSI back in the boiler. I'll perhaps open up the regulator just a bit. Get us back up to 50. There we go. Grab a nice shot of the train. Coming through here.
Oh, that's weird. Go up. <laughs> Looking good, though. One of the downsides, obviously, with running with no HUD or UI is... I don't know if there's any red signals or anything uh, approaching here. We're just sort of guessing. I don't know how fast I'm going either. Oh well. How fast are we going? 53. 53 is fine. Uh, let's jump back inside. Let's... Close up the regulator. 4.3 miles to go, and this is a stop at location. So I do actually have to stop up here. This could in fact be a very short scenario if this is where our end destination is. We are going via the slow line, so... We won't get the high speeds, or we won't be allowed to go at the high speeds that you're sort of allowed to do on the the fast up and fast down line. That's okay though. Right, we're going up a 0.3% gradient. Three point five miles to go. Oh yeah, this was a poorly planned section of track here. Abandoned station. Looking good. 3.3 miles to go. I am losing boiler pressure, but at the same time I'm not just that concerned, because I am going to be stopping at the junction up here. Or Ditton Junction. Three miles to go. <laughs> uh, we're going downhill again as well, so I'm going to prepare a stop. In fact, I'm just going to close up that regulator now and start preparing to slow down. Uh, probably going to start slowing down at about a mile since we are going downhill as well and we are actually going over the speed limit. Give it 20% application on a break. Bring it down to 50. I am still getting AP points for driving slightly over the speed limit. Which is weird that you would get rewarded for for breaking the rules as such. I've got green light ahead and stop at location two miles and two miles is gonna come down twenty miles per hour. There we go, there's one point nine. So I think something like 25% on the brakes might be okay. Possibly 20 or something. Okay, so we now have a fully pressurized boiler. And we're supposed to be stopping up here. Are we actually stopping or are we stopping and then heading somewhere else? I found as well that sort of shunting the brakes sort of on and off is a better way to slow the loco down than just having the brakes on sort of constantly. Although this should be okay for the moment. Yeah, one mile to go and we're down to 29 miles per hour so that'll be all good.
There we go. Just opened up the regulator just a touch there. There we are stopping at location. Yeah, I don't think we're actually... I see the actual stoppy marker. So I'm thinking it's a... You have to stop, wait for possibly a red signal. And then uh, once the red signal is passed, the signal at danger, you can possibly continue on your sort of merry way. Look at the grass at the side of the tracks here. That looks really nice. Right, 0 0.6 miles to go. Ditton Junction, Platform 4. This could actually be it. This is where many of the scenarios start from. The, Especially the, th the ones like Ditton Junction to uh, sort of Speak Junction. Yeah, in 700 yards, I have a red light. I think we'll be okay here, though. It is a 0.6% decline as well. It's going to let it coast in. Then we'll start slowing it down again. If it looks like it's starting to pick up speed, I'll stick a brakes on. There we go. There we go. This is a much more manageable speed. The red signal at danger is directly after this stopping area as well, so we need to be careful. Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, it's basically stop here or die. Okay, so it's not allowing me to stop fourteen yards. Just sort of creeping into this one. Right. Objective complete. Oh, that's it. Huh. Time taken was 22 minutes. Well, that ain't too shabby. That was okay, actually. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely one of those scenarios where the signal aspect is it danger and it's literally just a couple of feet a couple of yards beyond the stoppy marker so if you go just that slightly bit over you're gonna run that red uh, signal and you're gonna be screwed you will have to restart the scenario again <clears throat> so a nice short and sweet run there i quite like that it was basically just a leave from edge hill get the train rolling off the hill uh sort of pass through the yard get onto the main line and head up that sort of not the fastest pace because we were on the slow line so it was only 50. but yeah it was it was nice and easy it was a nice one to sort of run through there so yeah we'll leave it there for that episode that is another one ticked off of the proverbial list I wonder what it's going to give me now. Sometimes it throws me in a scenario. Sometimes it throws me on to the, the next sort of mission. Ooh. Ooh, you see? This is at night. Now, it, it, it's at night, but it's like bright night. It may not be 
super dark. It may be super dark once we get out there onto the main line. That is not lit in. Okay, and which way is this going? This is going across the bridge. So the, the large incline is actually behind us. So we'll do this mission next in the next episode. Uh, but we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Man, this has been Train Sim World 2, and I will catch us later.